Hello everyone, I am Mohammad Minhajul Haq, a PhD student from the University of Texas at Arlington. I am presenting my MIDL 2020 full paper, which is Advisorial Domain Adaptation for Cell Segmentation. So what is cell segmentation? In cell segmentation problem, we want to segment the cells from its background. If we want to train a cell segmentation network in fully supervised manner, then we need the ground truth annotations of a dataset. But uh, this kind of annotated dataset is highly unavailable because tedious labeling process and it requires domain experts and it's expensive. So what is the solution? We very carefully observed that the cell segmentation outputs are domain invariant. You can see this uh, uh, in the figure. And we assume that we have two domains, source domain, in which we have annotations and another is target domain in which we don't have any annotations. And we apply a technique which is called domain adaptation with the help of annotated dataset. At first, we propose unsupervised domain adaptation network, then we extend it to the semi-supervised domain adaptation. Here is the complete architecture of our unsupervised domain adaptation network. And there are three models here. The first one is segmentation network. The segmentation network takes input images and produces segmentation predictions. In segmentation network while training, we use segmentation loss, adversary loss, and reconstruction loss. Then in the discriminator module, uh, it uh, tries to distinguish between source uh, domain predictions and target domain predictions. And the discriminator uses cross entropy loss. And finally, in the decoder uh, module ensures that the target domain predictions especially correspond to target domain images. While training, we use reconstruction loss in decoder network. And in our experiment, we use two public datasets, uh, which is coming from kidney renal clear cell carcinoma, and another is coming from triple negative breast cancer. And for our uh, unsupervised domain adaptation uh, experiment, we assume that we don't have any label from uh, the target domain while training. But in the case of semi-supervised domain adaptation, we think that we have uh, some percentage level available from the target domain. Here is the experimental result. You can see that our uh, unsupervised domain adaptation network outperforms uh, both of the baseline, which is UNET, and another is another adversarial domain network, which is DAADV. And from the third and fourth row of this table, uh, you can see that uh, our decoder network really improves the performance. And uh, we can see that as we have uh, more level available from the target domain, our uh, semi-supervised domain adoption gives uh, better results. And finally, it becomes very closer to the upper bound. Uh, here is a visualization from our first experiment. Now the conclusion. Uh, in this paper, we propose a novel unsupervised domain adaptation framework utilizing the adversarial learning, domain adaptation in output space and decoder network. Then we extend this unsupervised domain adaptation network to semi-supervised domain adaptation, considering that we have a few adaptions available from the target domain. And in both of the cases, we have significant improvement uh, over the baseline. And this is the end of my presentation. If you have any other questions, uh, please contact at this email address. Thank you for attending.